Whether you have short, long, medium, or textured layers, knowing how to style them makes all the difference in your look. And today I will be showing you six different layered haircuts while comparing each to one another to help you figure out what look suits you best. Layer looks one and two, short versus long layers. Whether you have long or short hair, shorter style layers are instantly going to create more movement and texture in your hair when styled. Long layers allow for some movement, but the overall look is a bit more soft versus the texture that shorter layers can give. You can style both types of layers very similar, but your end result will look a little bit different. Here I have two mannequins. One has shorter layers and the other has longer. I style both of these the same way with a large round brush to create a smooth straight look and I think we can all see there is much more movement in the shorter layers versus the mannequin with longer layers when I styled the hair with more fullness and bend using a smaller round brush you can again see overall more movement and volume in the shorter layers I then curled both mannequins with a one inch curling iron and you can see the difference here both look great but but the shorter layers have a touch more movement to them than the longer layers. They look a little bit more soft. Pros of short layers. The obvious movement and texture that they create, if you have lots of super thick hair, short layers are a great way to remove a lot of the bulk and weight in your hair, and you can often achieve much more volume in your hair with shorter layers. Cons of short layers. Short layers often require more work as far as styling goes. Some hair types obviously do better than others, but often shorter layers tend to look a bit more choppy when not styled correctly. This is mostly an issue with straight hair over wavy or curled, but it is something to keep in mind. Another con is that if your hair falls on the finer or thin side, often having two shorter layers can make your ends look thinner than they already might be. So while you might love the volume you get at your root, you are going to lose a little fullness through your end. So just be aware of that as well if you have those finer hair types. Pros of long layers though are a great answer to the cons of short layers. While you may not have as much movement and texture that short layers provide, the long layers however are going to keep much more thick and fullness in your hair, which is a great pro, especially if you are someone with that finer, thinner hair. You're still gonna be able to create some nice shape and movement. You can still wave and curl it. It's just a little bit softer of a look. Cons of a long layer. I honestly don't know that I have any to mention. I love a long layered look. I think one can never go wrong with long layers. I guess the only con I would say is that if you're someone who loves a super fun, messy textured look, you probably aren't going to feel like long layers give you what you want. And I would love to hear in the comments if you are team short layers or team long layers. If you happen to be one who feels like long layers are just too long, but short layers are just too short, the answer is simple. You would like medium layers, which fall right in the middle. They are going to give you just a bit more movement over long layers, but not have as much movement as a short layer. Medium layers are the perfect solution to that problem. You can still get a smooth, straight look. I styled this again with that same big brush and you can still get fullness and bounce if you like that type of blow dry. And you still, of course, have the option to wave or curl with these layers. Let's move into a shag style versus butterfly cut. These are both similar looks, but really the cutting technique is what's different here. Shags are going to have more texture given to your hair while cutting. So there's gonna be either some razor work and thinning out of the hair with texturizing shears. Shags are typically styled a bit more messy with a wave or light curl. They're great for adding texture sprays or paste to the hair. You can wear them straight. However, I do find they just end up looking like a basic short layered haircut, which is fine. It's just not the look of your typical shag. In my 16 years of being a hairstylist, I've never had anyone show me a picture of a shag and it not be waved or with bend throughout the hair. A butterfly cut still has a lot of movement to it, but it's a softer look than the shag. It's gonna have a lot of face framing, often with a swoop around the cheekbones, 
lots of movement in the front. Think of it as the wings, but the layers stay more mid to long in the back. It has a very flowy look overall hence the name. The butterfly cut is most notably styled straight or very bouncy. To me, it's the perfect haircut if you like that Velcro Rollers 90 blowout, my personal favorite, and I will link some videos below where I show you exactly how to get that look. This is also an ideal haircut for finer hair types. Earlier this year, I mentioned the butterfly cut in a collab video I did with Glam Girl Gabby where we talked all about our favorite cuts for fine hair. So if you fall into the fine hair category and you're still unsure what cut or layered look is right for you, I would check that video out and it will be linked in the description and pinned comment below. Lastly, unlike the shag, the butterfly cut is most often seen straight or with that bend and bounce. You can curl or wave it. I do that often with my version I have of it, but it does lose that flowy butterfly wings look. If you are one who likes a more PC, messy textured look, a shag is gonna be more ideal for you over a butterfly cut. If you have natural wavy or curly hair, a shag is such an easy cut to bring out your texture. If you're one who likes a more full look, you live for those bouncy blow dries, a butterfly cut is gonna be great for you. I will also link a video I did on a cut that basically I take inspiration from both a shag and a butterfly and put them into one and it allows for you to maintain a little bit more thickness in your hair if you're in that finer category and are nervous about cutting too much layers. I don't have a ton of cons when it comes to the shag and butterfly, so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. I'm too biased with my love for both of these cuts, so let me know in the comments what are the cons to you guys when it comes to a shag or butterfly haircut. I cannot wait to see your thoughts. And then last but not least, I wanted to mention a textured bob. A bob is in its own category completely. It is the only haircut that can look edgy, professional, casual, dressy, with hardly needing to style it any different way to get any of those looks. You can wear a bob several different ways, but my favorite way is with textured layers, meaning the hair is more so cut into it with interior layers over your traditional long or short layers. What's nice about this is that you can still wear it straight and sleek, but because of those interior layers, you're able to create plenty of movement with either a texture spray or a paste, and you still have the option to wave or curl it as well. A bob is never going to go out of style. You can wear it long or shorter. It's super customizable. The only con of a bob is not really being able to wear your hair up. Often shorter hair requires more styling day to day. And if you regret it, it sort of feels like they take forever to grow out. But besides that, they're great. I so hope you all enjoyed today's video. I will leave you with these other videos to check out right here and I'll see you next time.